Hey, what's up guys? It's Rudy from Pro Civic, and in front of me here, I have the Serimoto trunk brace for the 9th Gen Civics. Uh, it should be a pretty straightforward install, and it'll definitely add some good rigidity to your frame and chassis, making your suspension a top-notch quality, uh, ultimate feedback, and great road feel for, you know, taking those hard corners. Uh, in any case, I think this is uh, going to be a pretty simple install, so let's go ahead and walk you through step-by-step step and show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is try to gain access to all the mounting locations for the trunk brace. Uh, we're going to start by removing these liners. Uh, if you have one of these installed, remove that. Remove the side panels here. It'll just make everything a little bit easier. Uh, you're also going to remove this uh, plastic piece right here if you want to completely take this out of the way, uh, which we'll be doing just to give you a better view of where this strut brace is going to be mounted. When you're removing the liner, you're going to encounter quite a few of these uh, body clips here. So be sure to take your time, use something like a screwdriver, a non-marring uh, pry tool, or a trim tool, a uh, trim piece remover uh, to remove these clips. And make sure you do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll go ahead and tilt these seats forward. Uh, this will gain access to uh, some of the clips that are still holding the liner in place. Now that we've gained access to these clips, there's one on either side. We're going to go ahead and take those off. And then we have this clip here holding the tire cover. Take that off and this tire cover will come off. Now that it's all unclipped, we'll remove the spare tire cover and the trunk liner. Now that we can see where this uh, brace is gonna be mounted, I wanted to point out there's gonna be uh, two bolts, one on either side of this bracket, 12 millimeter hex heads. You do need to take those off and place the uh, brace in place. Now the other two mounting locations are going to be on either side, way up here. Uh, and for the 2012 vehicles, the driver's side hole is not there. So you do need to drill one out. It's uh, pretty easy to ma just make a template. Um, or you could also mount the, the brace in place, kind of see where your hole is going to be located and drill it out so you can fit the hardware that bolts onto that, that location. Uh, the drill bit you would be using would be a half inch, maybe a nice 16 inch uh, drill bit. Drill that through and you'll be ready to complete the install. Now that we have the brace kind of mounted up, being held on by the two bolts at the bottom, uh, you want to make sure you have those a little bit loose uh, for the time being. But now we're going to move up to the upper mounting locations. Uh, we're going to start off with the driver's side, which is a little bit tougher to get to because as you can, as you can see, to uh, put the insert or the uh, nut that the uh, bolt attaches to, it's uh, you know, there's not that much space. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this uh, insert here, you're gonna bend it pretty close to, to the neck, and you're gonna give it a good, almost like a 90 degree bend up there. Uh, the paint will crack a little bit, but just about like that, a little bit less than 90 degrees there. We're gonna go ahead and insert it from the rear and come in from the front with the bolt. Now we'll finish it up on the passenger side and tighten everything down.
we're pretty much ready to start reinstalling our trim pieces here. Uh, and starting off with the trunk liner, now you don't have to do this, you don't have to you know, necessarily cut any kind of uh, openings for the strut brace. Uh, you could actually just kind of fold it over, have it overlap. But um, in our case, we wanted to show you how to actually cut this if you were going to go that route. Uh, so what you do is you measure in about half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch from this edge inwards. You're gonna come down about two and a half inches uh, in, you know, in the length here, coming down and almost make like a U shape and then come back up. And the width of this is gonna be about one and five eighths of an inch. So um, you're gonna slot that through and that, that'll basically give you enough room to uh, locate it around the uh, trunk brace without having to fold it over, it'll sit nice and flush. Now we'll repeat the same process on the passenger side. Now that we finished the rest of the trim, we can go ahead and take care of this uh, kind of a flapper here that used to hold on to a, a clip down at the bottom. Now what we're gonna do is just go ahead and uh, cut this uh, along each side so we could slip the center portion underneath the bar and the outer edges have like a velcro uh, on them uh, the other thing you could do though is if you don't want to cut anything and just be done with it you could just simply flip this around and just have it lay underneath uh, it's an that would be another way of doing it the only downside is obviously you will have some of this uh, showing here but we're going to just go ahead and uh, make some marks on the uh, cloth, cut it open, and uh, slide everything through. So that'll pretty much do it for this installation. Uh, you know, you just wanna make sure you put all the trimming back in its place. Uh, make sure you double check and tighten down the bolts that you installed and removed. And uh, that should pretty much do it. Overall, it was a pretty simple installation. And the cutting of the uh, trimming isn't as daunting as you would expect. It's uh, pretty straightforward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely let us know if you have any comments or questions down below. Like always, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. And check out our website, ProCivic.com, where you can purchase this product and many others. Once again, my name is Rudy from ProCivic. I'll see you next time.